my name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Slay by a Modded. We're going to be playing Marissa this episode. Uh, now, I, my understanding is that Marissa has been significantly changed since last I played her. So, it's time to probably remove a card from the deck. Yeah, seems a good idea. Let's get a spark out of there. Marissa has more problem defending than offending. Uh, maximum of two elites on literally any path I take. What do we have? 20 monsters this act? That's probably not likely. Anything else? Sneko, Exploders, Shell, Parasite, Large, Spike, Slimes. Yeah, none of those are particularly likely either. We saw a boss at the end of the floor. I don't know about that. All right. Just going to take the path that could possibly give us the most value. Right. So yes, we will be weakened this turn, but looks like we'll be pretty okay regardless. Get the Laos. Star Barrage. Ooh, Thin Deck Star Barrage. Yeah. Yeah, we've already removed a card. Randomize our starter relic. How about we don't do that? That sounds like a bad idea for us. Uh, I don't want to add curses to my deck, in particular because we are going super thin with Star Barrage. So Star Barrage is deal damage, uh, deal seven damage one time. Each time this play card is played, increase its damage by one, or the amount of times it applies its damage by one for the rest of combat. That'll do it. Mm. See, upgrading the Star Barrage would actually be pretty particularly powerful uh, because it hits multiple times. Obviously, it doesn't hit multiple times yet, but eventually it will. Okay. Pretty much the first attack next turn kills. Mm, or not. Hey, there we go. Oh, ooh, energy flow. Yeah. Real powerful, that. Ah, okay. Eric, you, and Poro here. I think I'll go for the double defense. There's a taunt. Now some of our things are altered. Pray that they do not alter them any further. Eric is almost dead now. I didn't even play Star Barrage this turn. Ugh. That's my bad, definitely. I mean, who else is bad would it be? I'll take the opportunity to just get that quick kill there. Ooh, five charge up. That's a hell of a gain right there. Nice. Light G Nut upon pickup, lose 25% of your max HP. At the start of each combat, gain three regen. Pretty damn good. Um, no. Just pass. I'm going to try and get a defensive card here. Nice. Managed to pick one up. Just because I'd rather not take a bunch of damage this turn if I could avoid it. Great. We easily got one enemy enemies down there. And set up for the next as well. We'll take one damage there, but that's okay. We'll heal it at the very start of the next combat. Ooh, block equal to your charge up. Probably not for this deck. Energy flow is really powerful though, and it exhausts, quote unquote exhausts, uh, because it leaves your deck whenever you play it. Which 
which makes it a hell of a lot easier to put in a deck. Especially a deck that is trying to cycle as many times as possible to upgrade that Star Barrage. Hell yeah. This is going to be really good in boss fights. Uh, so far, it's, you know, a little less. We've had Millimeter and Grand Cross uh, both offered here. Shame to not take either. Usually, I would just end the turn there immediately, but I got to remember I can start getting that energy flow, start getting that charge up. Right. All right. We are set up for pretty quick lethal. Not really how I expected to go about it, so we'll wait for one more turn and then Star Barrage is lethal. <laughs> Pendiv! Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a a very effective card for us. So we want both of these energy flows upgraded. Boss fights just became like much, much more of a kind of cakewalk for us. Okay. Another energy flow, or how about we just murder? That sounds good too. Elixir, as well as Ori Sun. No, we've done that build recently as well. Ori Sun charge up. Bottled Flurry. Upon pickup, you choose a card. You retain that card at the end of your turn. If it would exhaust due to being ethereal, it is discarded instead. Probably don't want that, actually. Yeah, the thing I want the most here, Wasp Nest, by the way, uh, each time you lose HP in combat, gain two thorns, as well as Lee's Waffle for the full heal, as well as seven max HP. Um, probably the thing I want most here is just card removal. Save our money for a later opportunity to spend it on something more important. Okay. Very much was hoping to kill in a single hit here. Great. That's so that the pen nib is ready at the start of the next combat. Milky Way is particularly good here as well. Draws a card and has the effect of the upgrade that I was trying to get before, basically. Pen nib stacked with uh, the... To Penib stacks with the other effects that I've forgotten the name of. Be a pretty wild kind of thing, yep. Penib and Charge Up together. Ugh. Our damage is going to be pretty, uh, pretty uncontrollable. One enemy left on the field, and double dunk him out of existence. Okay, 20 monsters this act. We actually managed to get it. Fly Swatter, future card rewards greens. You will no longer be offered cards that you've previously skipped. Bottled Yo-Yo. Uh, upon pickup, choose a card whenever it is put into your discard pile. Shovel it into your draw pile. On Star Barrage. I am so glad that I am doing this specific deck. I will skip all of these, so we will never get any of those again. Smith to upgrade the energy flow. We are just going to blow up the Guardian. This is going to be so good. Ah, sorry, I mean, so good. <clears throat> oh, good lord. <laughs> yeah, that's what I get for removing all of the, uh, the attacks from my deck, sorry. Thirty-six damage one time. Milky Way on the Star Barrage. I could have played the Star Barrage first, actually, but I wanted to upgrade it. Okay. 
I'm going to defend, defend, defend. Star Barrage tries to go to the discard pile, goes to the draw pile. Then I'm going to upgrade Milky Way. And then just Star Barrage for lethal. <gasps> oh. Gosh, I was going to go for a completely different build, but this has really turned out differently. Uh, remove the Log of All In. It's not going to have that at this point anymore. I don't really want any of those. Hmm. Back tick. Upon pickup, choose any non-boss, non-event relic to obtain. What would it be that we want? The deck could go off a lot faster if we had the mummified hand, so the energy flows cost less. Is it ever going to be strength dex focus? No. Is it ever going to be philo stone? Possibly. But I think there's definitely going to be a better selection than that. So I'm going to take back tick and just kind of have a little bit of a gander through here to see if I can find something that I think is going to be necessarily ridiculous. Ninjato's okay, but not really what we're looking for. Reduce your charge up consumption threshold value from eight to six. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, with two charge ups that are previously upgraded in the deck. Uh huh. Yes, thank you. This is going to go really well. Uh-huh, that's uh, <laughs> 96 damage. Okay, we're going to be going for the absolute largest fights that we can possibly go for in absolutely every available opportunity to do so. Eh, I'll take a risk. Calcum. We actually do play a lot of defenses, so I don't think the Orichalcum is particularly powerful for us. Uh, that said, we definitely play it here. Because it defends us more than the defend would. Unfortunately, I only get to play one energy flow here. But that's okay. Ooh. Remove a random debuff. Vulnerability to all enemies. No, I don't want to thicken up the deck. Don't defend here, right? Guess not too. Mm. Taking a hell of a lot of damage despite everything. Ow. There's Star Barrage at the absolute bottom of the deck. There's 12 health. Gosh, we're dead this turn. Is there any way we don't die this turn? If there is, it's playing Star Barrage. No, it's not. That wouldn't do it. Ugh. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad that I took the worst fights possible. But still. Ouch. Gosh, that fight can be really rough. Alright. Let's go again. Another try, sure. Lose all gold, remove two. Yes, thank you. Uh, There's a three lead path on either side. This one starts out with a bunch of question marks, though. Okay. 
I will strike the back line, then murder the front line easily. <sighs> hmm, who's our boss's floor? Let's take a sprinkle star spiel. Alright. Remove another card, get another spark out of the deck, sure. Come on. Ooh, lantern. Start each combat with an additional energy. Take max HP there, because that's actually a problem that Marissa has. Old coin this early on. Thank you for the 300 gold there. I intend to fight, you know, three elites in a row, so there's a couple upgrades we need to get. That was just a great uh, opening draw right there for us. Okay. Not unreasonable to expect that we might kill this upcoming turn. In particular, because we did. Or a Calcum, if you end a turn without blocking six block, okay. We might just go super aggressive. Hold off. Smith and Master Spark for the extra damage, especially because this could be Lock of Woolen. Uh... Setting myself up for a better Master Spark later as well. And that's a lethal right there. Tag bag. Shop's going to have all three kinds of sale tags on sale cards are now cheaper and sale tags can appear on colorless cards. So it's a bunch of stuff I don't really want to take yet. We have a really, really, really thin deck. We should take advantage of that while we can. Trying to gain some charge up here before we wake up the enemy. That'll get it done, as well as provide us with a pretty reasonable amount of defense. Um, I'll just triple defend this turn. It's fine. We had the opportunity to go all defense, and we don't always have that, so... Felt like a really good idea. Especially because, yeah, it was pretty likely we were going to be able to kill in the next couple turns. Uh, toy Battleship. Whenever you're at the rest side, start, uh, during the next combat, the first card played each turn also draws one card. Charge Up Spray could be a pretty sizable amount of draw for us. Which could contribute towards a zero cost build. Got him. Nope. Don't want any of that. There we go. We'll just go for the full defense. Ah, could have played the Master Spark that turn. I forgot. That's my bad. No, don't need any of those. Supernova would allow me to start drawing some, uh, drafting some burn cards. So boss this floor, slime boss. Uh, supernova would actually be handy there. Sure, I'm gonna take a supernova. worth noting, only upgraded supernova is going to be handy there, by the way. So we'll probably upgrade it as soon as we get to the end of the floor. Mm -hmm. 
Shot, kicking some more damage on that back line. Ooh. Trip defend. Not a bad turn, actually. I will use the Swift Potion here. Primarily because I have all of my potion slots filled already, so may as well. Not bad, not bad. The boot, Star Barrage, Ball Crump, no. Yes, Star Barrage could go in this deck, but we tried that before. I want to do some other things. Deal 10 damage, game. Gold equal to the unblocked attack damage dealt. I don't think I take any of these. Dakota Ring, by the way, whenever you play two, uh, three attacks, then two skills, then two attacks, then one skill, deal 30 damage to all enemies. Uh, cunning Disguise, upon pickup, choose another character. Future card rewards screens, you have, uh, will have one additional card from that character. Fine. I choose Ironclad. We'll try and get the thing going on. If you don't know what the thing is, I'll tell you in a little bit. <sighs> Upgrade the Supernova. Hoping to play that in a relatively early turn here. Oh, how about turn one? Early enough for you, Raps? There's all those slimes now. Burn them all. Yes! Reinhardt! Sorry, um... Pretty ridiculous amount of damage, right? Back line, and then make quick work at the front line too. Three quests, the quest log. Okay. Reaper. Reaper is actually ridiculous for this character, uh, but I don't want to take it. Is that? I don't want to take it because I have a specific idea. Health is really important. We'll take Reaper. Uh, Runic Obelisk. Gain energy at the start of each turn. Lower your maximum hand size by three. So we'd have seven as our maximum hand size. This character doesn't have a particularly large amount of draw, so that might be a particularly good idea. <coughs> then there's Scarrier Mask. Uh, the weakest enemy flees at the beginning of multi-enemy fights, as well as the Terracotta Horse. Uh, sorry, Terracotta Horse. Uh, gain energy at the start of each turn. Raise your ascension level by five. Now, I understand that the reason that it's called the Terracotta Horse and the horse is spelt uh, slightly off the beaten path uh, is because in the translated notes for uh, localization for this game, it is mentioned that animals within relics, so paper frog, in particular. What's the other one? Paper crane, but crane spelt with a K rather than C. Uh, those are, are not similar to the... Or not similar. Those aren't the same animals that we have here on Earth. Uh, so they are spelt wrong as a, as a point, right? As a point of differentiation. So that's important for the translators to know so that they can translate it to their own language and then mess it up just a little bit. Uh, and it seems that traditions is carry, uh, tradition has been carried on here by Kyo. Uh, I'll be taking the runic obelisk here. Right. I'll tell you what we're doing with Cunning Disguise when it becomes relevant, trust me. That's if it becomes relevant, so. Yeah. Not bad. Good 
Goodbye, Spheric Guardian. Hello. Probably nothing. Remove a card here, definitely. Right. Guess it's more money as well. We'll be removing another card at the next store also. Perfectly defended. The thinnest of decks. Perfect. It's been a while since we've run thin. Particularly happy to be doing so. Nope. I could put Star Barrage in this deck and it'd be ridiculous, but no, I have an idea. Ah. Chaos. No. Why? <laughs> Why must you turn up now? Chaos. A bomb pickup, replace every relic you hold with a random relic. It can pull from any pool. Oh. oh no, I have such a cool idea though. The idea is that there's a card in Ironclad called Feel No Pain. Whenever you exhaust a card, gain block. There's a card in Marissa that called Casket of Stars that every time you gain block, gain a spark, a zero cost attack that exhausts. That's an infinite. You play both of those and then you just destroy everything. Um, it would be interesting, but for about two combats and then it wouldn't be anymore. We got Runic Cube, the Abacus. Oh god, we can't charge up anymore. Uh, whenever you shuffle your discard pile, gain six block. That's a lot of block for us. Uh, light bulb as well as bird's blood at the end of combat gains six HP. All other healing you receive during combat is 50% more effective. Gain strength in, uh, gaining strength also heals you. Certain red cards can never be obtained. Uh, Severed Torch Head. Ugh. I, I really don't like this. Uh, the downside of this relic is just so frustrating. Uh, gain energy whenever you start a turn. Whenever you would play an attack card, lose one strength for the turn. Whenever you play a skill card, lose one dex for the turn. Uh, then the Sacred Necklace. This is an ultra rare boss relic. Gain energy at the start of each turn. No downside. White Beast Statue. Potions always appear in combat rewards. Greens. Strange Spoon. Cards which exhaust will, uh, when played will instead discard 50% of the time. And Orrery. Uh, weight Training is probably a really good... Ah, uh, Spot Weakness. Speed... Dark Spark, Ori Sun, no. No. Flex, sure. Oh, well, this is. Probably should have just sold the torch head there. So we've now got the Bottled Heart. Upon pick up this relic gains charges equal to half of your max HP and your max HP is reduced to one. Uh, at start each combat with temporary energy, temporary energy, temporary HP equal to the relic's charges. Any changes to max HP affect it instead. This is a Sneko Ghost, not a Sneko, unfortunately. Um... Oh, and ending my turn has somehow reduced my HP to zero? What could even possibly cause that? And the game is now stalling out. I, I literally can't play anything here. So I'm gonna save and quit and see if I can regenerate this. If not, then that's chaos for you. Bum, ba, da, da, da. Bum, bum. Yeah, if we play any card, we manage to lose our HP. 
And then if I end my turn, the game halts. I don't even know what interaction could possibly be causing this. Is it somehow bird's blood? I, I don't know. What I do know is... My name's been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been... That's Chaos. See, told you. That's what, that's what it was going to be. All right. I don't know what happened there, but... Uh, good gosh. Hopefully you've all been enjoying yourself uh, regardless. This is a foible that you run into occasionally when playing uh, modern content. I try and, as I've mentioned before... Uh, scout things specifically so that I don't encounter this kind of thing often, but it does happen. I don't even know what caused it though. Usually I have a clue. Oh well, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.